Hi guys, welcome to ENS 181 Engineering Mathematics. From the previous video, we discussed the solution of ordinary differential equation. Now, we are going to discuss what is initial value problems. Initial value problems is a solution y of x of a differential equation that satisfy an initial condition. So basically, given tayo ng initial value ng ating independent variable. So example, on some interval i containing x sub 0, we are going to solve the nth order differential equation that is subjected to an initial condition. So we have y x of 0 is just equal to y sub 0, then y prime of x sub 0 equals to y sub 1 up to nth minus 1 derivative of y x sub 0 equals to y sub n minus 1. So this is called an initial value problem. This y x sub 0 equals to y sub 0, y prime of x sub 0 equals to y sub 1 up to n minus 1 derivative of y of x sub 0 equals to y sub n minus 1 are called the initial condition. So we're going to have an example for this initial value problem. So example for first order initial value problem, so we know that y equals to c e raised to x is a solution for a differential equation y prime equals to y on the interval negative infinity to positive infinity. So this one is our general solution or families of solution. Then if you have an initial condition, y of 0 equals to 3. So it means that we only choose among the families of solution a particular solution that passes through point 0, 3. So to find the value of c of our arbitrary constant so that this solution will pass to a point 0 and 3, we just substitute 0 for x and y for 3 on this general solution. So we have 3 equals to c e raised to 0. So our c is just equal to 3. So thus, y equals to 3 e raised to x is a solution of this initial value problem. So this y of 0 equals to 3 is our initial condition. So if we are going to graph it, among this family of solution, we only choose this particular solution that passes to point 0 and 3. So if we want a solution that passes through the point 1, negative 2, so our initial condition will be y of 1 equals to negative 2. So we are going to find the value of our arbitrary constant c so that this general solution y equals to c e raised to x will pass through point 1, negative 2. So substitute lang natin ito, value niya is negative 2 ang y if ang ating x is equal to 1. So, ang c natin is negative 2 e raised to negative 1. So, i-substitute natin itong value nito dito sa ating arbitrary constant so that we'll have a particular solution that passes through point 1, negative 2. So, our particular solution now becomes y equals to negative 2 e raised to negative 1 times e raised to x. Simplifying that, we'll have a y equals to negative 2 e raised to 
x minus 1. So this particular solution that we get based on our initial condition will pass through point 1, negative 2. So it is a solution of the initial value problem y prime equals to y and initial condition of y of 1 equals to negative 2. So if we are going to look back again here in our families of solution, we just choose this particular solution, this blue line here, as our particular solution. So another example here for our second order initial value problems. So we already given the general solution here, which is x equals to c1 cosine 40 plus c2 sine 40. So it said that it is a solution for the differential equation x double prime plus 16x equals to 0. So we are tasked to find a particular solution of the following initial value problem. So since we have second order, now we need two initial conditions so that we can find the value of our arbitrary constant C1 and C2. So we have this first initial condition, x of pi over 2 equals to negative 1 and x prime of pi over 2 equals to 1. So, paano natin hanapin ang value ni C1 and C2? First, we have to substitute this initial value problem to our general solution. So, we have the value of x will be negative 2 C1 cosine 4. Then, ang value ng t natin is itong pi over 2 pi over 2 plus C2 sine 4 times pi over 2. So simplify natin, we have negative 2 equals to C1 cosine, cancel ito, we have 2. So cosine 2 pi plus C2 sine 2 pi. So, further simplifying this equation, we have negative 2 equals to C1 cosine 2 pi is just equal to 1 and sine 2 pi is just equal to 0. So, we have 1 plus C2 times 0. So, makansa si C2. So, we have the value of C1 which is equal to negative 2. So now, kailangan natin hanapin ang value ni arbitrary constant C2. So para mahanap natin ang value ni arbitrary constant C2, gagamitin natin tong pangalawang initial condition, which is the first derivative of our solution. Then we substitute the value of t, which is pi over 2, and the value of our x prime, at t equals to pi over 2, which is equal to 1. So, kailangan muna natin hanapin si x prime. So, x prime equals to derivative nito. First derivative lang ng ating general solution here. So, ang first derivative niya, meron tayong negative 4 c1 sin For t plus for c2 cosine 4t. So, ito yung first derivative ng ating general solution. So, pwede na natin i-substitute itong ating second conditions. So, if ang ating t is equal to pi over 2, ang value daw ng ating first derivative of x is equal to 1. So, negative 4c1, then 
sine 4 times pi over 2 plus 4 c2 cosine 4 pi over 2. So simplify natin yan, we'll have 1 equals 2. Ito siya cancel, magiging 2, same here, magiging 2 ito. So negative 4, c1, sine 2 pi, plus 4, c2, cosine 2 pi. So, sine 2 pi is just equal to 0 and cosine 2 pi is just equal to 1. So, we have 1 equals 2 for C2. Now, our C2 is equal to 1 fourth. So, based on ating initial condition, we get the value of our arbitrary constant C1 and C2. So now, from our general solution, we'll have a particular solution for this initial value problem. So, so i-substitute na natin itong ating arbitrary constant sa ating general solution. Then, we'll get our particular solution. X equals 2. C1 is negative 2. Cosine 40 plus 1 fourth ang ating C2 sine 40. So this one is our particular solution for this initial value problem. So substitution lang ang nangyayari dito guys. So here, another example of an initial value problem that can have several solutions. So from the previous video, We've discussed this y equals 2, x to the 4 over 16, and y equals to 0, satisfy the differential equation dy over dx equals to xy raised to 1 half. And also, initial value y sub 0 equals to 0, this differential equation has at least two solutions. So if we are going to investigate here on our graph, we have this curve, which is our solution y equals to x to the 4 over 16. And it passes through point 0, 0, which is our initial condition here which is this one also this x-axis which is y equals to 0 is is a solution for the given differential equation dy over dx equals to xy raised to one half so our initial value problem can have several solutions that passes through the same point so initial value problems will get a particular solution instead of a general solution since we are already given an initial value to begin with. So now, for the practice quiz, you are going to solve for the particular solution of the following initial value problems. So you already given the differential equation, the general solution, and the initial value problem. So you have to find the value of arbitrary constant here for all the number. So I want you to pause this video and answer it on your own. The answer for this practice quiz will be discussed on a separate video. So that's it for our initial value problem. I hope you learned from this video. So next discussion, we'll have differential equation as mathematical models. See you on the next discussion.